Monica San Miguel is the Chief Marketing Officer for Forever Oceans, and she spent a little time chatting with Amanda about what makes them a sustainable seafood company and how they're able to provide sashimi-grade fish in a way that's, you guessed it, sustainable from the ground up. Their fish exceeds expectations as an appetizer and as an entree, and it's a protein that's healthy for you and for the planet. Let's create the future of food service together. We're here at the Nation's Restaurant News booth with Monica San Miguel from Forever Oceans, the Chief Marketing Officer. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Amanda. How are you? I am doing so very well. Uh, tell us a little bit about Forever Oceans. Forever Oceans is really a sustainable seafood company that is trying to change the way that we produce natural protein okay. so that it's healthy for you and healthy for the planet. Okay. Now, is it going to taste good? That's what I want to know. It tastes amazing. We know taste is king, so it tastes amazing buttery flavor it's a sashimi grade fish and it's also good for you okay so it's good for me in what ways it's good for you it's an excellent source of omega-3s okay. and it's also been raised in pristine waters in the deep ocean so that it's a cleaner natural protein one ingredient so we know that consumers are looking for something that tastes good and we know that these are full of omega-3 fatty acids, which are so good for our bodies, but what else should consumers be considering? Yeah, I mean, we know that consumers know that fish is inherently healthy, um, but we know they're ready for a sustainable seafood. Mm -hmm. So the trends, we've, did, we've been doing a lot of studies with some of the, our research partners, and what it shows is that consumers, that even in the ages between 18 and 44, 64 of them are heavy, seafood consumers, right? That's me and, and my family. You're and welcome. That, and, you know, and then when you start looking at Gen Z and millennials, then that trend really goes up higher. Out of those, like, we see more affluent, say 75K and above, are, who's really a, a heavy seafood user. Mm -hmm. But what's really important is that they're not just looking for seafood. They're looking for sustainable seafood. Mm -hmm. And 77% of, of consumers actually um, are looking for a sustainable protein on the menu. And when you look at the ages of 18 to, to 34, that number jumps to 88%. Wow. And what's even more important is that half of those are willing to pay a price premium for that sustainable seafood. And I think that's that's very helpful for as you know you look at the menu choices. Absolutely. That that you, you just described my entire family. I'm pretty sure we could all be pescatarians because seafood is amazing. It's so good for you. And I feel good as a parent putting it on a plate for my kids. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so explain this to me. Now, I go and, I, you know, they say that this is sustainable and that's sustainable, but that term is just open for so much interpretation. Tell me how this is different. Absolutely, Amanda. Sustainability for us, for Forever Oceans, means that we can do it in perpetuity. That is not only about how we ocean race our fish, but it's also the communities that we work in. We are different because we're sustainable from the ground up at the core, and we have utilized and perfected our technology stack to be able to nurture the fish in a very deep ocean that's 100 meter deep in the ocean. Oh so gosh. we're different from that perspective. Um, we also are far offshore, mm -hmm. so from an aquaculture perspective, we have that benefit. So the fish is really swimming happily in pristine waters as it grows up. The Forever Oceans technology suite allows us to move fish production further offshore into deeper water than has ever really been done before at a commercial scale. In terms of innovation, we've had to come up with systems that allow us to interact with all of our farm systems remotely. Our enclosures are unique places where human interaction is kept to a minimum, thanks to the unique innovations we've created, which automated everyday tasks from feeding to checking on the health of our fish. The beautiful thing about farmed fish is the level of control we have over the quality of the product, from egg to sashimi on your plate. 
So in the end, we can produce a super high quality sashimi grade product that has no detectable mercury or PCBs. It's really hard to look at other high quality seafoods the same way. I mean, we, we really sort of set an impossible standard. All right, so tell me about the fish themselves. Tell me a little bit more about these happy fish. Sure. So our fish is the Cereola rivoliana species, which all it is is a really beautiful sashimi grade fish that has a buttery taste. Not only that, it's very versatile. So you can have it as a poke bowl, you can cook it off, you can bake it, you can have uh, tacos. So it really covers a range of center of plate to, from appetizer to center of the plate. It's great in ceviche. So um, it's, it's really an awesome fish for you. Amazing. Monica, you had me at ceviche. There you go. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm getting hungry just hearing about these amazing fish. Um, how do I try this? How do I eat this? Um, you, we are about to have our first commercial launch in the summer. Congratulations. So, thank you. So we're coming to restaurants near you. More to come on that. And for more information, you can go to foreveroceans.com. Amazing. So foreveroceans.com and you'll have a list of places that I can go and eat these beautiful uh, fish. First, you can now find our sample page. So you can request samples at foreveroceans.com slash samples. Uh, but we're also going to be adding where to find it. Definitely check out Forever Oceans on their website and all their social media. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Amanda. We look forward to creating the future of food service together. Thank you. <laughs>